Captain Amanda Burnett fine-tunes and maintains the most complex and valuable assets in the U.S. Air Force, the people. This medical professional works in the Aerospace Physiology Office at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, and her job is critically important. I mean, our job is basically, if you want to look at it, kind of human performance enhancement, whether it's on the ground or up in the air, so that they know how to deal with different I guess drawbacks that, that we have just being human. She and her office work for the entire wing and spread awareness of the importance of the human factors of health. Things like diet, fatigue, or even stress. But her main concern is air crew members and the unique problems that they run into. Yeah, humans are designed to be on the ground, move in two dimensions, 1G, and when you throw us up in the air, our, our bodies kind of don't like that too much. So They have all types of training tools to prepare air crew members for what they'll run into in the sky, including... Our barony chair, yeah, it's uh, definitely a favorite of air crew members. Not so much. We spin them in that chair three consecutive days, three times each day for 10 minutes of spin. And we have them move around, look up, look down, check six, different maneuvers, just to simulate what they would maybe experience in the aircraft. And that helps them get, get acclimated. They also have flight simulators that suck the oxygen out of the air crew's aviator masks to simulate a condition called hypoxia. Hypoxia is just a lack of oxygen to blood cells and tissues that causes an impairment of function. Any of you guys ever experienced hypoxia in the aircraft? Hypoxia affects people differently, from confusion all the way to passing out. This training is vital because it tests the air crew on the ground, which is much safer, instead of in their upwards of $60 million jets that travel at breakneck speeds and high altitudes. From Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Tori Fleck.